we could see to help each other. Then if you can help each other, you don't want to help. You, you fall short of that because I don't know, I don't know. Y'all help me. I'm going to help you, you help me too. And we help each other. You know what I mean? That's, that's where it's at. You know. I'm just messenger, but we all in this together. You know, I don't see why we can't deal with each other as we should if we're supposed to be in this truth. And we're supposed to be the light to the Gentiles, light to Israel, light to the Gentile, light to the whole world. Ain't nothing more powerful than this truth. Nothing. Nothing. And here we are dissecting each other when you got all these pork chopping preachers out there leading our people straight to hell. Straight to hell. And they stand for them. They'll say they preach more than they would the most high in Christ. My my preacher says. So these are the things that keep us. Why why you don't why they don't fear the most high? First and foremost, you ain't gotta follow them because you're not under the law. Right? Whose law are they? They're the most highest law. So you ain't under his laws. So what are you supposed to follow? What are you supposed to follow? The law of the land, right? The law of the land. That's what I mean. What else you going to follow besides the law of the land? You ain't under the most highest law. You're under mercy of grace, but you got to keep the law of the land. Whose laws are those? Those Esau's laws. They're not our laws. But you got to follow the devil. Who are the rule of this world. But if you follow the most high's laws, then you'll know to be able to do whatever you got to deal with in being righteous in this kingdom. Because he's going to come after you if you do wrong and his, break his laws. So you're breaking his laws and you call yourself representing the most high and you break breaking his law. What do you think he's going to do? Most high going to stick his left hand on you. Who do you think Esau is? Esau is left hand. What's Satan at? On the left hand side. Where his demons at? Where his angels at? On the left hand side? What did Satan tell him? I shall come Show him all the kingdoms in a moment of time. Say, what you got to do? Bow down and do what? Worship me. All shall be thine. So that's what they're doing. On the left hand side of the most high. See, when you look at this, it's real simple. It ain't, it's not hard to figure out. He said, don't eat of the tree of what? Good and evil. But you can eat of the tree of life. What do you think that tree of life is? Immortality. Keep you living forever and ever and ever. That's why he put the swords around it once we ate of the tree of good and evil. And we could not eat of it. That's why we all dealing with good and evil. How do you think we're going to judge angels? Because we're in the day of evil. To the utmost. We see it. You see it. Unless your eyes are just straight blind. You somewhere in a bubble somewhere. You turn on the news. You're going to see evil. You hear in your ears, whatever, you, whatever we come, come for, you're going to hear evil. Because it's a day of evil to the utmost. Right now, here we are, just pity patting along, thinking everything going to be cool. It ain't going to be cool. It ain't, it's not going to be cool, y'all. Because who got next? We got next. So who's more important for them to concentrate on? That's why people tell me, well, go over here to this company, that company. What difference do it make? I'm still the same person. Go to this country, go to that. Where you, where you going? Where can you run from the sky? Most high is the one that got his hand in this. You can't go nowhere. Where you going to run? You got, swear, you got to have a relationship with the most high, y'all. I'm telling you. Well, you've been neglected since the beginning. Look at all the plagues he did in Egypt. Why do you think he killed all of us in the, in the wilderness? Moses went, up, Moses went up to get the laws for 40 days. People were crazy. 40 days, that's it. We ain't talking about no year. We talking about 40 days. After seeing all the plagues he had put up on the Egyptians, we went off. Why? Because we was amongst the Egyptians, amongst them heathens. He left them. And brought their ways right with us. He killed. I can't, I can't, I can't say it enough. He killed. 600,000 warriors came out of the Egyptian army. Killed 599,998. 
and left two adults. That's it. Y'all hear me? Two adults. So everybody said, oh, I know I'm making it to the kingdom. You better think again. You better really think again, man. How you know how long this, and within this 2,000 or 3,000 or most high going to be raising us up as Israelites as fast as we're growing now? That is our time. And my Shekhar Shadow, he said, he don't even know, only the Father know. How you know it's not going to be another rave of Israelites that's, that's more spiritual and have more spiritual power than we ever could imagine that he bring on this earth? Here we are sitting here, all we know, we, you don't know nothing. We don't know nothing as we ought to know. You know what I mean? That's why we got to work hard to make it to this. They say the righteous guess to go make it. Look, man, that was like two men, Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb. No women. He took the children that we had in the wilderness and let them go into the land of Canaan. Killed everybody. But two adults, man. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He, he said he's going to take one of a city. Not two, not three, not four, not five. <laughs> he said one of a city. Two of a family. That's deep to me. How you know it's not your children? How you know it's not, how I know it's not my children? How's not, how you know it's, it could be you, could be your children, could be, you know what I mean? It could be, you, could be your grandchildren. It could be our grandchildren. It could be the children that you don't even see yet that come on this earth. Who gonna make that date for the most high? Nobody. But when you die, there's a judgment for what we have, what we have to do now, man. That's for sure. We all gonna be judged individually. Ain't nobody, you ain't going up there with your pops. You ain't going up there with your pops. I ain't going up there with anybody in my family. You can't bring your, your wife, your nephew, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your husband, your cousins, your friends, your associates. All of us gonna meet the judgment seat alone. That's why I talk all the time about works, man. You know, we have, you have different parts of the body. Everybody's not going to do the same thing, but you have different administrations of the body. But you still got to be in this word. Everybody, nobody's exclu excluded from learning this word, man, and following what he said do. Just because you help me, I don't going to get you in the kingdom. You, don't, you ain't trying to study his word. You understand what I'm saying? You get understanding through the precepts. So it's very important, man, that we... Uh, we look at this. I want to look at uh, going to the fear of the Most High a little bit today. My, my spirit moved me because why is it that after a thousand years of Most High allowing the Mashiach Yahushai to rule and show us of himself, teach us of the Father, then Mashiach is going to be subject to him, then the Most High going to be all in all, forever and ever, ever. See, when he bring the destruction that he's going to bring upon the Army, Navy, and Marine, and Air Force of all these nations in the sky, the galactical uh, equipment that they have in the sky, and under the ground, and he destroy, so every eye going to see him when he come. When he destroy all that, now with you, who going to fight for you? Who can you call? Ain't no 911 to call no more. <laughs> you can't call nobody. You can't call on nobody. And you better not call Ghostbusters because, hey, they said ghosts is one spirit, so <laughs> they ain't coming. Ain't nobody coming to fight these angels. I'm telling you, one angel standing in the sun and directing the other angels. What are we talking about? They not, that's matter. They must say, hey, look, them angels, man, when we seen angels, we bow down. They said, don't worship me. No, no, don't bow down to me because they're afraid of the most high. Here we are, man, mortal man, thinking that we got it going on, and the best we could do is just go against each other. Find fault in each other. Is there any good? Is there anything that's pure or righteous within us? It's always something negative that we always dissecting each other to be able to bring us down, bring ourselves down. They used to call it when I grew up, crabs in a bucket. You heard it, man, crabs in a bucket. You know, we should be, we should be so fluent 
as a nation. I mean, it, it makes you think, okay, well, why is it that we aren't really together as we should? We've got schools over here, this school over here, this church over here, this church everywhere. Got, in L.A., they got a church on every corner with a liquor store. Keep your mind, that's polluted. You got spirits in the church. You got you know, what they call liquor, spirits. That's what you're dealing with, spirits. They got these spirits, they have programmed them to deal with us a certain way. So I'll tell y'all, you better look at the religious instructions to the Negroes in the United States of America. Until this day, man, you read that, you'll see that it's still at hand. It's at hand. Willie Lynch, still at hand. Stockholm Syndrome, still at hand. Let me experiment. I was looking at how they, uh, they allow the women to go into this clinic and sell their breast meat, milk now. And they all lined up in the chairs getting their breast milk and selling it. Mostly all Israelites. There's some about, you know, they had us breastfeeding during slavery, that baby up against our women's breasts and so forth. They used to put their feet on our children and rock on the porch all day long, say that takes the rheumatism out of their body. They gotta understand the spiritual power that we have, that we have lost mentally, spiritually, and connectively, physically. Really. When you look, when you really examine how they experimented on us a lot to get the technology that they have. I mean, we, we're, we're part of every, mostly every invention we had our hands in it some kind of way, one way or another. Man. But these are the things that we don't know, so therefore we allow them to look down upon us. That's why when you pull out, I pull out them inventions, Esau shh, shut down because without our inventions, this place would be primitive. It would be primitive. They couldn't even build, they couldn't even create a doorknob to turn the door to go in. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, that low. So here we are looking at each other, and we have the, some of the most brilliant minds in the world. But as long as we are against each other, fighting against each other, and not looking at how we can come together one way or another, then we're going to be in the same position. They're going to laugh at us all the way to the bank. Like people fighting on this, what they call this Black Friday. They fighting in the stores and over material things. It's always us, man. It's going crazy. Every year? Come on. Fair kind of talking about boycotting Christmas. Are you serious? <laughs> Didn't look like they boycotted no Christmas to me yesterday or whatever that was. The way they was going off like that, what was that for? That was for they getting their Christmas gifts. So let's go into it. Colossians 3.17. You want to read that? It's crazy. Colossians. That's right. So all that we say is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior. That's by Hashem and Mashiach Yahushai. And we give thanks to the Most High, who is the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for everything. In the name of the Lord and Savior. So let's look at Psalms 34 and 7. Psalms 34 and 7. In the book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 7, the angel of the Most High encampeth round about them that fear him. So the angel of the Most High encampeth around them that fear the Most High. So the angel of the Most High is not encampeth around those that don't fear the Most High. You understand? And what does the angel of the Most High encampeth around those that fear the Most High do? 
Read. And delivereth them. See, and delivereth them. That's why you got to understand this. You have to give your life to the most high, man. He's using us to bring forth the understanding back to Israel, who we are, spiritually knowing how to make it through him, only through him, because he's our only hope. He's our only hope. That's why he sent his angel to encamp around those that fear him and deliver them. Verse 9. Verse 9. Oh, fear the most high, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. See? Oh, fear the most high. So, I asked, I asked for a long time, what's the fear of the most high? And people come with all kind of explanations, except for the right explanation. Well, I asked a little uh, uh, a teenager, what's the fear of the most high? He said, be afraid of him. Be scared of him. Look, look what Amashak Abishai said, Luke 12 and 4. I mean, you can't get no clearer than this. In the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 4, And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. Yeah, don't be afraid of man who can only kill the body. After that, ain't nothing they can do because they can't touch the soul. They can't touch the spirit. But remember, he said, Be not afraid. It's right there. Be not afraid of them. Okay? So now he comes back in verse 5 and says what? But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. There it is right there. So he's giving you the definition of fear by telling you be not afraid. So be afraid. That's fear. To be afraid. That's fear. That's the definition of fear. What do you say? Fear him, which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. That's right. Fear the most high, man. After he hath what? Hath power to cast into hell. That's right. Have power to cast you into hell, man. Fear the most high. Can't get no clearer than that. Look at uh, Psalms 85. Psalms 85. And 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 85, verse 8. I will hear what our power the Most High will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn against the Father. You hear that? He's letting you, that's a warning. <laughs> Be afraid of me. Say, hey, I will, I will hear what the Most High, our power will speak. He said, for he will speak peace unto his people. To his people, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, and to his saints, who are the 12 tribes of Israel. But let them not turn again to folly. Say, hey, Hebrews 10, 26. Don't turn to folly. You turn to folly, man. Hey. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. That's what he said. He didn't gave you the truth. He didn't, Mashiach up shouting and sent that peace to you. And open up your mind so you can see what these words are saying and understand what these words are saying. And he said, what? Read it again. For if we sin willfully. You sin willfully? That's folly. That's what he said. Don't turn to folly. You sin willfully? Read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. 
after you have received the knowledge of the truth, read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin, man. Master Yahweh Shai said, I ain't going to the most on your, on your behalf. Even the man, he kept, he kept doing the same thing over and over and over again, man. You guys, why, what's the point of repenting if you keep doing the same thing? You guys are supposed to forgive you, then you keep doing the same thing. That's sinning willfully. You got to change. You have to change. You, you can't just keep doing the same thing and think, oh, forgive me, forgive me. By sure, my shakka was shy. My shakka was shy, no end boy. Better get it right. That's what he said. I ain't going to the most on your behalf. Because you doing the wrong things. You keep doing the same thing over and over again. Like the man that kept picking up sticks and doing what he was doing on that Sabbath. Most I said, kill him. Make him an example. See, the most I makes examples for us so that we can learn discipline. We can learn to be obedient. When you see certain things happening, you see it's going on, what's the judgment? Most High, he said, back in the day, he said, kill him. People can't handle that. But one thing about it, straighten us up. Because you do the same thing, it's going to kill you. I mean, first, first, uh, what is it? Uh, first Samuel, I'll get uh, Deuteronomy. 32, 39. You understand this. That's why I say don't. Both sides said, what, what Moshe was trying to tell us, after he have killed, after he have killed, even though man kill you, he let you know the most high the one that kill you. He let him, he allow a man to kill you. Read that, Deuteronomy 32, 39. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no idol with me. Ain't no, ain't no idol, or no power with the most high, read. I kill. He said he killed. That's why when a man die, what'd he say? I kill. He said, I kill. A woman die, he said what? I kill. A baby die? I kill. A, any child die? I kill. Anybody die? I kill. Most I said, I kill. Read. And I make a lie. And he make a lie. Read. I wound. Anybody's wounded? He said, I wounded you. Read. And I heal. And he's the one that heals. From people crying about, oh, my wound, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Who did it? What did he say? I heal. He said, I wound. If you hurting, most I wound you. And you believe in him? He said, what? I heal. I'm going to heal you. Not no doctor. It's the most high that wounds, the most high that heal. He'll use the doctor on your behalf to help heal you, to show you the right way. But you got to have the wisdom to know how to deal with it. Because you say, I wound and I heal. Remember who the most high lover, he chastens. And is it a chastisement of the most high that you're dealing with or not? You see what I'm saying? Where you got to go through a lot of changes before you, you might be dipped in the fiery furnace of affliction. Still. You know what that's like. You don't never let up till you cry to the most high and beg him to take it off you. See, I realize, if you say who you love, you chastens. Some people deal with a lot of wounds, man. Our people deal with a lot of wounds. They wounded. But you got to get over, man. You can't hold on to grudges and all the things that man did. Because the most high, you in the most high's hand. I'm saying, don't fear what man could do to you. He just said that. But fear the most high. Because he the one that kills you. And cast your butt into hell, as it said. Read on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's right. So ain't nobody can deliver out of his hand, man. First Samuel 2 and 6. Killer? The most high killer. The most high killer. See? So you say, oh, they died. They got shot. Who killed? The most high killer. <clears throat> See, the most high killer. Read. 
And make it alive. And make it alive, man. Me? He bring it down to the grave. And bring it up. That's right, man. Somebody said, oh, I died on the operating table. And the doctors brought me back to life. No. The most high is the one that allow you to come back. It's just these kind of things I look at. How do anyone that that has happened to give all the credit to the Most High? You gotta, you gotta go by this. You can't, you can't just look at this and say what everybody else usually say. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, you. you that's why. That's the purpose of us knowing this. In Proverbs four and seven, it's very important. Why? Why we're supposed to know this and how to operate in the spirit so that we will not stray from his way. It's not hard, man. It's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand what's, what's up with, with our people, man. It's, we're supposed to be able to deal and know and fear the most high. We're supposed to be fearing the most high, man. Read that. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. See, wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. It's the principal thing. Read. Therefore, get wisdom. Therefore, get what? Get wisdom. Therefore, get wisdom. Read. And with all thy getting. With all thy getting. Read. Get understanding. You got to get understanding. See, but see, here we go. We get our Ezekiel 20 and 32. This is us, man. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 and verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. Yeah, that which cometh into your mind, the way you think, shall not be at all, right? That ye say. We will be as the heathen. You say we will be as who? We will be as the heathen. We're going to be as the heathen. We're going to be as the heathen, read. Really. As the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. Yeah, to serve wood and stone. All these different religions that they have set up for you to fall into. Wood is that Christianity. Stone is Allah, the, the rock, the black cobblestone. You have Buddha. All these different religions. That's set up. So you're going to follow the heathen. You're going to follow their way. And most of them not even operating under the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know? They didn't know nothing about him. They say they say God and Jesus Christ. When they say Jesus Christ, they talk about Caesar Borgia. That white image that they put, painted of our power. Read on. As I live, say the most high power. Surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. That's what we've been through, man. We say he's ruling over us. He's been ruling over us. With a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. He's been ruling over us like this. It's not nothing new. He said, will I rule over you? That's why he used these nations to bring forth all the oppression that they brought upon us. Then he said, oh, you ain't listened to me yet? Oh, then he gave us to the most wicked people in the world. The Edomites. The last ones. This is our last captivity. If, you don't, if we don't get it now, that's why, if you don't get it now, we're going to burn you up. Where the worms never die and the fires never quench. You don't get it now? This is your last chance. This is our last chance. Y'all hear what I'm saying? This is our last chance. What captivity are we going to after this? Israel. No, you got to hear what he's saying, man, because this is our last chance. This is the last chance we have. It ain't like, oh, I'm going to come back and get it together. Another. No. This is the last chance, man. This is it. It's the last captivity. Read that verse again. Verse 33. As I live, save the most high power. Surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm 
and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. That's how he's ruling over us, man. B. And I will bring you out from the people, and I will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand. That's right, man. He's the one that's going to gather us from all these countries. We scattered among all nations, the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, I'm going to gather you out. Not no man. Remember it tells you in Deuteronomy 28, 29, ain't no man going to save us. No man. But he's going to gather us from, all, from among all these countries where we've been scattered. Be And with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. There it is. I mean... We can't get by this. Stretch forth arm with fury poured out. That don't sound like no patting you, patting you, say it's okay. No, fury is indignation and wrath, man. Hardcore. That's why we got to look at him for who he is, man, and stop playing around with him. This is serious. Psalms 103 and 11. So if you don't fear him, how you, how's his mercy going to be great towards you? I'm just giving it to you opposite because a lot of times Israel got to hear it like that so they realize what time it is, man. Whereas the heaven is high above the earth. And he, if you're talking about the, the, the fourth dimension, we don't know how high that is. You know what I mean? We don't know how far that is. But he said, for as the heaven is high above the earth, there are three heavens, you know, power and authority on the earth, the ozone lead is firmament at the sky, and the fourth dimension where the most high dwells. That's, that's three heavens. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy. So great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Mm. B. As far as the east is from the west, so far has we removed our transgressions from them. See that? As far as the east. Those that fear him, not everybody, because those that are afraid of the Most High, those that don't, if you're afraid of the Most High, then you do whatever you want to do and say it's okay. Say, he, he know, you, you, you come back to the heathen. He just say, he know my heart. He know my mind. He know your mind. That your mind told you to do something wicked and you've done it. You thought of it and you act upon it. You might have spoke about it. Next thing you know, you're doing it. He know, that's what he know about your mind. That's why I say the, the heart is deceitful above all things. And what? Desperately wicked. Straight up. To so watch your mind and say many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. In Ecclesiastes 3 and 24. So evil comes in and overthrows your judgment. If you just go by your mind, you gotta, that's why you got to think about how, what's right according to this word before you make these actions, do these things that you do. Counsel yourself in this word. Read. Verse 13. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the most high Pity them that fear him. I mean, it can't get no clearer than that. <laughs> As a father pity, pity of his children, so the Most High pity of them that fear him. That's afraid of him. That's scared of him. But see, they, you're taught, that's why I got to keep saying that, because you're taught, oh, the Most High is all love. Why should I fear him? Because you have people say, well, I sh why should I fear the Most High? What? Are you serious? He said, I kill. I make a lie. I wound. I heal. So he can wound you and don't have to heal you. He can kill you and throw you in, like my check up what y'all said. Throw you into the lake of fire. Throw you in the hell, man. That's what we're talking about. And when we in the kingdom, he said, we have to, every time we go to the Feast of Tabernacles and go to the Sabbaths and the new moons, we got to see these people in the lake of fire, man. 
We're going to hate that. It's going to be a hating, but I tell you what, I bet you going to keep everybody in line. Because you're going to remember, dang, remember all the destruction. They tell you, man, we're going to well because of him. Oh, Everybody's going to well because of him when he comes back and destroy this place, man. No matter what they can do on this earth, man can do against man. With their missiles and all the things that they have, technologies that they have, there's nothing compared to when you see in one hour what a Mashek Shai going to do if we hear Most High will. You see that? That's going to be nothing compared to that. When you see that, oh, that's why, why you they're going to be cleaving up people, all these nations going to be cleaving to us. When they realize we're the chosen people of the Most High. Who's going to fight for them? Who else can they turn to when they realize we, that Mount Zion, that this Bible been talking about. We are the chosen people of the Most High. That this book been talking about all this time. They tell you about what they're going to say and what they, you know, we went over that in Wisdom of Solomon, what they're going to be saying and all, all that's there. Couldn't be him. They cut our life for madness. But oh, that's why it's important to fear the Most High. Because nobody, nobody really think about him, man. Nobody really think about him. People don't even know him. And say he's talking to them. They don't really know him. Else you got to know the left side. Talk to me. Don't he got a right side and the left side? Get, get, that, get that in uh, Isaiah 45 and 7, man. You better understand. Talk to me about this side of him. Talk to me about this. Me. Book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. You only know one side of the most high. You don't know the most high. Read. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the most high do all these things. Yeah, so where do you find that at? How do you find that? Him creating evil. Say, I do all these things. I create peace, war, you know, love, hate. All that comes from the Most High, but people don't put him involved in that. But you're going to see, when we look at the fear of the Most High, you're going to see, hey, he's, man, he's busy, man. Exodus 15, 3. I mean, when you go into these words, you look at what it is that he's saying he is. You can't deny this. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. The Most High is a man of war. First and foremost, the Most High is a man. He's not a woman. He's a man, and he's a man of war. Come on. The Most High is his name. So if the Most High is a man, and he's a man of war, what do you do in war? Strategies of how you're going to win over the enemy, over your opponent. Whatever it is that, however you're going to go after them, you have a strategy of war. We ain't number puppets down here. You say, okay, well, you go over here and do this, and you go over here and do this. Okay, well, what side? You got a left hand, you got the right hand. That's what the Most High is doing. He's working his right hand with his left hand. Whoop, take that left hand. Go on over there and take care of him. Whoop. Why is this evil coming from him? Because the Most High. He said, I create evil. But if you don't look at how he do it, I mean, come on. But understand, man, he, he used Satan on the left side. When he told us, hey, you don't need him. You don't need him. Then he tell Adam and Eve, Told the Adamites, that was a whole nation. Told the Adamites, you only need me. You don't need to be righteous. That's all. Eat of the tree of life and live forever. But you eat of that tree of good and evil, you ain't gonna last a day. And the day to the most high is a thousand years. And nobody, Methuselah was, Methuselah was the longest, you know, lived the longest. Almost, but not quite. You see? That's why when you know that a day to the most high is a thousand years, that's why you look about a day to 24 hours. I mean, people get ignorant. That's why everything is, is spiritual. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is what it is. All of us have lived a day. Then he, we used to live uh, a long time, many hundreds of years, right? Then he cut it down to one, 120. Then he cut it down to 70, man. Three score and 10. You know, I talk, I see brothers, man, many of brothers, man, they were like happy that they made it past 25. They didn't think they was going to make it past 25 years old. Look at how everybody's dying, man. How the most they taking them out? Tupac, Biggie, 
You name all these different, that's what you say, all the stars gonna fall from heaven? Yeah, them celebrities, are they dying of stars? What they call them, movie stars, right? They stars, celebrities, they're stars. In this world, this is a heaven on this earth. They got power. That's why they ask certain, certain rappers about certain things, they don't say nothing. They ain't gonna say nothing. But our plight, what's happening with us, what we going through, they ain't gonna say nothing. They in the lockdown. They know what they'll get. You know. Look how many of us, huh? So they so. Yeah, that's right. You know, so. And celebrities, different, different uh, actors and so forth. They all in this together. You know, and it's, you gotta pay. You know, it's a certain amount of time, and they say, hey, your time is up. So that's like you can live rich for now, for this world, and die and be cast through the lake of fire. That's it. This is your consolation. Some people, this is their consolation right now. That's it. That's why we got to serve the most high, man. And he'll make it right for you, regardless of what anybody else say. Can't nobody take me off my faith. Nobody. Nobody. Don't let nobody take you off your faith in the most high, man, and believing in him. And fearing him. That's why I'm going over this. Because if you don't fear him, you do anything. At any time. And we all slip, you know, we all can make mistakes. Then you gotta repent. Can't do that stuff no more. Can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's serious, man. Get um let's go to Psalms 103. Read, uh, read verse 14. Psalm chapter 103, verse 14. For he knoweth our frame. He knoweth our frame, man. He knoweth how he made us. Read. He remembereth that we are dust. We are what? That we are dust. That we are what? That we are dust. That we are dust, man. We know but dirt. We come from dirt. He said, remember that we ain't up but dust. He didn't even say dirt, man. He didn't even say the ground. We didn't come from the ground. He said we are dust. I mean, you know, that's like, that's, I mean, you don't mean dust, man. I mean, you can do like this or somewhere. If you ain't, you, ain't, you know what I mean? You ain't wipe things down, man. Dust. He said we like dust. Read. As for man, his days are as grass. As for man, his days are as grass. Read. As a flower of the field. So he flourishes. Yeah, so he flourishes. Read. For the wind passes over it. Wind pass over it, read. And it is gone. It is gone. It's gone, read. And the place thereof shall know it no more. You hear that? And never gonna know you at all, no more. Wherever you was, man, says shall know you no more. Read. But the mercy of the most high is from everlasting to everlasting. The mercy of the most high man is from everlasting to everlasting, read. Upon them that fear him. Upon who? Upon them that fear Upon him. Upon them that fear him. Not everybody. Not everybody. When you hear in Isaiah 14 and 1, you think, oh, the most high gonna have mercy on you and you don't fear him. Nah. He's telling you here. Read it again. But the mercy of the Most High is from everlasting to everlasting upon that, that, that fear Him. Hear that? Upon them that fear Him. Read. And His righteousness unto children's children. His righteousness unto children's children, man. And you understand it's like you can give your life to this and the Most High bless your children. He bless your children because of your sacrifice. That's what we say here. And his righteousness unto children's children. Read. To such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. That's right, man. That's what it's all about. 
keeping his covenant that he made with who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel and to those that remember the commandments. Not only think about the commandments, but you got to do them. Joshua 1 and 8, you got to do these commandments. You can't just, okay, I know the commandments, memorize something and you're not doing them. If you're not doing them, then you're going to pay. Point blank. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. Come on. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate better in day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right. Joshua 1 and 8. Read it again. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Then you're going to have good success, man. You're going to make your way prosperous. Not following everything that the world says you're supposed to follow, and you know they're off, and you know that they're dealing with all this wickedness, and you're involved in it, and you prosper behind all the wickedness that the world says you, you, they allow you to do. Killing your brothers, selling drugs, and and doing things that's contrary that the Most High would not have you do or whatever it is that you're involved in. Because all prosperity is not good prosperity telling you that. That's why I say this book of the law of the Most High, we're supposed to meditate therein day and night that we may be, we have prosperous and have good success. Isaiah 34, 16. They're the most high's laws. And he's talking about the law of the land. He's talking about following him. And you follow him, you'll know how to follow the law of the land and stay out of trouble. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the most high and read. Say, seek ye out of the book of the most high. That's this Bible. And read, read, read Israelites. He said, well, keep some from us. Put in the book because we don't want to read. He said, and what? And read. And read. Read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these prophecies or no one of these words of the Most High shall fail. Read. None shall walk or make. Meaning you can't match no book with the Bible. Because that book going to stop somewhere. This Bible ain't going to never stop. <laughs> Right? It's going for the past, the present, and the future. It's never going to stop. So ain't no book you can match with the Bible. Because when you come up with some kind of prophecy that's in this Bible, say, get it out of there. You can't match it with the Quran. No prophecies in there. Book of the dead, that sounds like somebody dead. Book of the dead. That's the book of the living. You see? So what book are you going to match with this? No book can match with the Bible. Read. For my mouth it has commanded. And his spirit that has gathered us. That's right. It's the spirit of the Most High that's gathering us up. So, Isaiah 8 and 20. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Proverbs 6, 23. So, he said, if you can't speak according to this word, you don't have this in you. If most people don't speak according to this word, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. They don't speak as they have light in them because it's just the light, Read. Really. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. Come. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a lamp, read. And the law is light. See, the law is light. They speak not according to this word because they don't know the laws of the most high. Remember, they saying, hey, you ain't under the law. Or those that know about the law, they're not going to go to the law because they know that they're what? They're wicked. They're doing something that's evil. So ain't going to. Did Satan go to the law with a mashak I was shy? Was what, fasting 40 days and 40 nights? No. Hamashiach was shy went to the law every single time to rebuke Satan. Every single time. He went to the law. 
That's how you get rid of it. This law is powerful, man. It's the most highest laws. Satan got it. He told Satan, you got to follow them too. Him you got to serve. And him only you got to serve. We got to serve him and everything going to serve the most high. Now or later, but they're going to serve and bow down to the most high. Man. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Is that it? And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. That's right. Reproof of instruction are the way of life. And you find reproof of instruction right here in this Bible, man. Psalms 111 and 5. In the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 5. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. Yeah, he gonna give you some food. And he gonna give you some things that you can chew. The high, the higher understanding of this Bible too, which is me. You see? But he say he's gonna take care of you, man. If you fear the most high, keep his commandments. Have faith in the Mashiach Shai. Read. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. Read. He has shown his people the power of his work. So he has shown us the power of his works. Read. That he may give them the heritage of the heathen. He may give us what? The heritage of the heathen. Come on. He going to give us the heritage of the heathen. <laughs> That's talking to Israel. We're going to be able to rule over them how long? Forever and ever and ever. Read. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. Yeah, all his commandments are sure, man. All his commandments are sure. None of them you can go wrong with. He was so angry with us, he gave us commandments we couldn't even keep, man. He just, take this. <laughs> Get a <laughs> Psalm 30 and 5. Psalm 30 and 5. Remember this, read. For his anger endureth but a moment. His anger endureth but a moment. Remember, well, I guess we got to get it so you know. I'm just, I'm not sp just speaking off the top of my head. Get Second Peter three and eight. I believe it is. And the book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse eight. But be loved. Be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't be not knowing. Don't be ignorant, which is not knowing, of this one thing, right? That one day is with the most high as a thousand years. One day is with the most high as a what? As a thousand years. As a thousand years, right? And a thousand years as one day. As one day. So this when you go back, go back to uh Psalm thirty and five. Psalm chapter thirty, verse five. For his anger endureth but a moment. Yeah, but a moment, you know, but a thousand years is a day to the both sides. <laughs> so his anger endureth but for a moment, read. In his favor is life. In his favor is everlasting life. And that's what we're supposed to be working toward. The favor of the most high. To favor him, you're going to fear him. To receive everlasting life, because you're going to do what he say do. Law, statutes, commandments are nothing but rules and regulations. Just like we have here in this world. Wherever you are in the world, you got rules and regulations. That's all laws and statutes commandments of the most high are. Rules and regulations. That's it. And when you look at it like that, then it shouldn't be that hard because you know the rules and regulations of this wicked kingdom. Or whatever kingdom they're in. Because it's still wicked. Because most high going to take down all the kingdoms. Ain't no kingdom standing. You understand? When he set up a righteous order on this earth, all kingdoms going to be shut down. Because they've been influenced by the wickedness of this world. they got to be shut down. He's going to set up a new kingdom. It's going to be ruled by a Mashiach Yahweh Shai for a thousand years. Read it again. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. In his favor is this everlasting life that he's, he's offering us. Read. 
Weeping may endure for a night. Yeah, weeping may endure for a night, and that's where we are now. We in darkness. Remember, he told Esau, "Get thee in the darkness." Weeping may endure for a night, as long as Esau's ruling. Read. But joy coming in the morning. Yeah, joy gonna come in the morning when it's day. Mashiach Kabbalah come through as that light shining brighter than ever. That's going to last forever and ever and ever. Proverbs 30 and 5. The book of Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5. Every word of the Most High is pure. Every word of the Most High is what? Is pure. Is pure, man. Every word of the Most High is pure. Read. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. He's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. We've got to trust in him. Read. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. See, say, add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. That's why uh, Romans 3 and 3. Revelation 18. I mean, 22, 18, and 19. Book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? So what if some don't believe? Read. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? For what you're hearing about the Most High? Because you don't believe, is it, is it going to make the faith of the Most High without effect? With no effect? Read. Most high forbid. Yes. Yeah. Emphatically, no. Read. Let most high be true. Let the most high be true. Read. But every man a liar. Every man a liar. Let the most high be true and every man a liar. Read. As it is written. That's right. That's what we got to go by. How? Huh? As it is written. As it is written. Read. That thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome, but thou art judged. All right. You got to go to these scriptures. You got to read by these scriptures. Revelation 22, 18. That's why I say you can't add or take away. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22, and verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the most high shall add unto him the pledge that are written in this book. That's right, man. This is serious. So I say, as it is written, you got to go by as it is written. Read. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life. That's right, man. If you take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away your part out of the book of life. If your name not written in the book of life, he told us, go ahead. And out of the, the holy city. And out of the holy city, read. And from the things which are written in this book. That's right, and from the things which are written in this book, man. Look at uh, Revelation 20 and 15. So if, he, if your name not written in the book of life, that's what he says, read. Revelation chapter 20, verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. There it is. So he's given us ways of how we should operate. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. That's all I can say because it's serious. And I don't think people, like I say, people don't fear him. So you think you're not going to go to the lake of fire. Because of your own way of thinking. Go to uh, go back to Psalms 112. And 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 112, and verse 1. Praise ye the Most High. Blessed is the man that feareth the Most High, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. Do that. Praise ye the Most High. Blessed is the man that feareth the Most High, that delighteth greatly in his 